Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I had a request to talk about adding a logo to the guest check headers. If you have any questions or suggestions for future topics, please leave them in the comments below or better yet, join our fantastic Facebook community where you can talk to myself and hundreds of other hospitality enthusiasts and get the answers to all your questions. It's open and free for everyone to join and I'll leave a link to it in the description below. And really quick, I wanted to remind you guys about our online learning platform. You can find training and support for Micro Symphony at simsupport.online. I'll leave a link to it in the description below and a coupon code as a special thank you. And with that, let's get back to the video. Adding a logo in EMC and having it print at the top of your receipts is a pretty straightforward procedure. The issue is with formatting the image in a way that Symphony will read it. So first of all, the image must not exceed 98,304 pixels. And you can calculate this number by multiplying the size in pixels of your image. The width must not exceed 512 pixels and the height must not exceed 384 pixels. But keep in mind that if you do go to the max sizes for both measurements, you will end up close to 200,000 pixels, which is double what the maximum allowance is. So I always cut this in half. I go about 256 pixels by 192. After you resize your image, you will have to set it in a specific format, which is monochrome bitmap. Now, this is a format that you can save using Microsoft Paint, and you can use the Save As function to do that. If you have a Mac, then you will have to use Parallels because you're using Parallels for EMC anyway, and you have Paint in Parallels. And finally, the file size may not exceed 8 kilobytes, and this limitation is mostly because of the size of the buffers on the small printers we have with the workstations. So let's take a look at how I modify my pictures in order to fit all this criteria. So this is my logo file here. And as we can see, it's a PNG. And if I go to properties, it's actually 22.5 KB, which is more than we are allowed. And if I look at the details, it's actually 500 by 500. So we definitely have to change it. So what I'm going to do is right click and I'm going to go to open with and I'm going to open it in paint. And the first thing I need to do is resize it. So I'm going to go to resize and then I'm going to switch this to pixels and I'm going to change the horizontal to 256. So now if I click OK, now my picture is smaller, but it is 256 by 256. Now I would like it to be 256, but one by 194. So next we're going to have to crop it. Now cropping is not that easy in this particular version of paint. Uh, we do have Paint 3D now, but that one does not allow for saving in monochrome bitmap. So we have to use this older version. So in order to crop, we're going to use the selection tool. And I'm going to have to select an area of 256 by about 192, 194. So let me try this one. So now I can see here on the bottom, it's a 256 by 170. So I can increase it slightly. 255 I missed the pixel there by 192 255 by 192 okay that's good enough of the selection and then I'm going to click on crop so now my picture is 255 by 192 and it doesn't have to be exactly that just kind of around this particular number now the size is still large 22 KB so what I'm going to do is go to file save as other formats and here from the drop down, I will select monochrome bitmap. Now, this is important because this is going to make the file much smaller. And also we would allow Symfony to accept it. So we're going to select monochrome bitmap from this drop down and then click save. And going to confirm both of these. And now you see the quality had it went down a little bit. And this is necessary because thermal printers are not really good at printing high quality logos. So we're going to minimize this and now we're going to check our file. So I'm going to go back here, go to properties. So now is 6.06 .06 KB, which is great. It's below eight. And if I go to details, 255 by 192. Excellent. This will work. Doing this whole process in paint is kind of a pain. So if you have access to Canva or other image editing tools, then you can use those to kind of size your picture first and then bring it into paint and then save it in this bitmap format.
But now that we have our image, we can go here to EMC and we're going to upload it. Now I am going to go here to the configuration tab and I am going to click on print logos. Now print logos can only be found at the enterprise level. You will not be able to find them at the property level. So if you have multiple properties and each of them need a different print logo, make sure you name it accordingly because you can add as many as you need. Just have to make sure you name it so you know which one it is. So I'm going to open up print logos, add a new item. And then here I'm just going to name it a logo and then click OK. So now I have this new item and all I have to do is load my image. So I'm going to select my bitmap one. Don't select your PNG. Remember, this is the one that we edited, the small one. And then going to go ahead and click OK. So now I have the logo here. I can go ahead and save. So the logo is added in the system and we can actually close the print logos. Now, the next step is to add it to the check headers. So I'm going to go to the descriptors and I'm going to look for guest check headers. Now you can find guest check headers at the property level and even at the RVC level. So if you want to have RVC individual logos, you can open it here. If you have properties that have different logos, you can also open it here. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open it here in the enterprise level because I just have the one property. So I can go ahead and click on guest check headers. Now we are going to use the first row here at the top. So we have six rows in total where we can add our restaurant name, address, phone number, etc. But the first one we will leave empty. I'm going to check the box here to use a logo. And now I'll be able to select the drop down and I can select my logo and then I can go ahead and save. And now all of my logos will print on the guest check headers. Now, if you are processing credit cards through Symphony directly and you don't have a third party credit card processor, you can add your logo also on the credit card header so you can do the same thing. Go ahead and select your logo and then click save. And then we can go ahead and close this one as well. Now, the last step to the process is just to check really quick on our printers. There is an option bit there that allows them to print logos. So I'm going to select the property level because printers can only be found at the property level. I'm going to open up the printers tab. I'm going to select one of my printers here and there is this option here to enable logo printing. So logo printing is only available in thermal printers. So most likely you'll have this one selected and then also this one. And if you have logo printing here and you have the logo added, then the logo should print. Now, the last step is to just go to the workstation. You're going to have to do a quick update and then just run a quick test. Just print any guest check and see if the logo is at the top. If you run into any issues, update again and also reboot your workstation. That usually helps the logo push through and start printing. And that's pretty much everything I have for you today on logo printing. Like I said, the procedure is pretty straightforward. Just creating the file in that particular format that Symfony accepts it is kind of the more difficult part. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you didn't do that already. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.